going to show you how to find f of x in terms of x when presented with f dash of x. So just going back to differentiation, hopefully you will know that when you're given a function f of x, if you need to find f dash of x, you have to differentiate. So if you want to do it the other way round, so go from f dash of x back to the function f of x, you have to integrate, okay? As remember, integration is the reverse process of differentiation. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. We've been given f dash of x, so in order to find f of x, we have to integrate this expression above. Okay, so I'm going to integrate 3x to the power of 5 plus x squared, take away 2x with respect to x. Okay, so remember when you're integrating, you're raising the power on the x by 1 and you're dividing by the new power. So if we look at the first term here and I add 1 to 5, I get 6. So we have x to the power of 6. And then we're dividing this number here, 3, by the new power, which is 6. So 3 over 6. I'll simplify later, okay? Now if we look at the next term here, we have plus x squared, which is the same as plus 1x squared. So if I raise this power by 1, I'm left with x cubed. And then we're dividing the number 1 by the new power, which is 3. So we have 1 over 3. Okay, finally this term here, remember minus 2x is the same as minus 2x to the power of 1, we just don't write the power of 1 here. So if I raise this power by 1, we're left with x squared, and again we're dividing this number by the new power, so we have negative 2 divided by 2. Okay, not forgetting to add your constant c in this question. So the final step is to simplify. Okay, so when we simplify, we find that f of x is equal to 3 divided by 6 is the same as a half, so a half x to the power of 6. Here, a third doesn't simplify, so we just leave it as it is, so a third x cubed. And here, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1, so negative 1 x squared is the same as negative x squared plus c, and that is f of x in terms of x.